Hello everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check new kit from model collect and, uh, of course this model is molded in 172nd scale and it copies as you can see here T64 AV main battle tank we saw some uh, let's say Russian tank kits from the same company before nevertheless this one is absolutely new you can see the new box art design it's not no longer is a profile of the tank it's a nice beautiful picture of the tank in action let's say so the box is the same uh, the size here you can see comparison with my hand it's not that big on the side there is some information about the company some safety advices and that's pretty much all as you can see box is quite sturdy no slight damage um, I mean, this box arrived to me like this. Nevertheless, even though the box is slightly damaged, it's quite sturdy and as you can see everything inside is intact, so no worries about the parts consistency and um, let's say possible damage which can be caused during some rough shipment. Um, we're gonna start from two Seymour Spruce uh, because they are not packed. Nevertheless, they are quite interesting because uh, I remind you this is a 170 second scale model kit. Nevertheless, we have separate link uh, track links, and as you can see, uh, some large segments are designed as large one piece parts. Of course, this is better than typical vinyl parts, and of course, again, um, it will be easier to paint and weather these parts, and they will look um, like real parts on the tank, on the finished model. And then we have slightly bigger sprue which uh, should be used for this version of the tank. As you can see it features reactive armor, it features even the turret parts. Note the turret feature has separately molded uh, hatches and of course the gun mantlet and the main barrel. And here you can see the side skirts which are also designed as a one piece parts. Here the, by the way are as the hatches for the turret. Next we have one piece uh, bottom hull part. As you can see it's quite nice. It features very good detailing on the bottom and of course it will benefit from some extra weathering. And inside there is almost nothing because uh, there is no interior included into this kit. Come on it's 170 second scale so <laughs> it's really surprising if somebody expects interior parts in such small model. Here we have uh, sprue with suspension parts. As you can see those are molded very nicely. Attachment points are thin enough so that you won't damage the parts during their separation. And I hope assembly won't be difficult as well. Uh, next we have large plastic bag with bunch of sprues. Just give me a second to remove them. Okay, so first uh, we have two Seymour sprues and guess what? They contain the road wheels and some external elements for the tank. As you can see molding quality is on the same level, so no worries here. Uh, drive sprockets should be assembled out of two parts. I can zoom camera for you so that you can check them closer. Note here is a tiny amount of flesh, but it's not serious in my opinion. And the wheels, wheels should be assembled also from two parts as far as you can see. And painting might be tricky because there are no masks of course and this is a quite small size. Next sprue is dedicated to um, external panels. As you can see we have here the glacis plate uh, which is molded together with front fender parts. Here are the side skirts. And here is another one. They are molded as one piece and as you can see they feature some uh, molded in detailing which looks quite nice. And of course inside there is nothing. There are some well, let's say small molding pins uh, inside but it's not serious. I mean this part is not visible. And you can even hide it under the layer of the dirt. Uh, then we have Another plastic sprue with another uh, glacis plate, top part of the hull with uh, engine cover and main barrel which should be assembled out of two 
no, it's actually a one piece parts which is quite nice for this kit I mean, you won't have to deal with two single, two separate halves in order to get a proper part uh, next we have uh, several types of the bottom turret parts nevertheless as far as you can see we will need the only one uh, which we saw before and here you can see machine gun which is molded as a tiny one piece part and looks quite okay I mean of course some others will say that it's not like uh, let's say the maximum level of detail nevertheless it seems fine uh, separate ziplock back uh, is dedicated to decals here as I said in my previous review uh, we can notice a really nice improvement because model collect uh, upgraded their printing quality and now we have this high quality decals note that each symbol is numbered and I hope that application will be easy as well assembly manual is finished in form of this nice color printed um, brochure as you can see there is short history note <coughs> then we have parts map and assembly process starts this is a 70 second scale and we have that many parts uh, to apply on the turret it's quite impressive here you can see how you assemble the tracks and what else note that you will have to do some modifications for the side skirts but of course it will be up to you maybe you want to save let's say the plastic parts and use the plastic analogs and on the two last pages we have marking guides which are printed in color uh, we have color chart with paint numbers given in Mr. Hobby paints range which is quite nice I would say um, next we have another ziplock bag which features more bonuses for the model just give me a second because we have here a small menu for the commander's shield we have a PE thread for this part of the tank here we need to zoom a camera here it is of course it's unpainted part, it's quite tiny and it will add some fine detailing to your model. Here we have another PE thread which should replicate the engine mesh for example and some external elements. Mm, that's not all because we have one more PE thread uh, with parts for the skirts as I said. This should be used instead of the standard plastic ones. Nevertheless the choice will be up to you. And the last and the most beautiful bonus here is a metal barrel. Of course it's one piece and as you can see it's better than uh, the standard plastic option. And it should look nice on the assembled model. So that's all for the video review. As usual I would invite you to check full review article on our website where you will find detailed photos and also text written in English and Russian. Of course I will be happy if you press the like button below because it will help us greatly. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook group because you can get all fresh videos and news and articles faster than in other sources. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video review as usual.